What's up, Puka University? Hey, Daniel, Larry. Oh, I appreciate you guys coming on. Tanner, what's going on? All right, so what are we doing? School's in session. Yes, what are we doing today? Uh, so uh, today we're gonna do uh, a little review on HMDs. It's uh, the proper use techniques, uh, different types of HMDs, which I recommend, uh, the ones I don't recommend, and uh, what I think uh, works best. And um, I just want to make sure a lot of people, you know, are new to the community and a lot of questions about uh, how to use an HMD outside of just uh, foil and coal. So what I want to do today is just uh, go over the use, proper techniques of uh, using HMDs. And uh, so what I did was I took out all my HMDs that I own and uh, I'm going to go over the different, different materials, what they're, how they're used, how to, uh, you know, put them on your bowl, coal technique in use. So, uh, hey Bob, how are you? So uh, let's get started. Um, you have any questions while I'm reviewing and talking, please just put them out there and I'll try and uh, see your question and answer it as quick as I can. And when we're all done, uh, feel free to uh, PM me anytime if you have a question uh, of anything that I've gone over. So um, I'm gonna flip the camera around. I'm gonna show you some of the uh, some of the HMDs that I have, and then we'll start discussing what we're gonna uh, do here. So let me flip the camera. All right. So right now I'm smoking out of a MIG. Uh, let's see. I've got a Provost with. Uh, uh, three cubettes and I'm smoking some Tangiers right now um, as you can see we've got the we've got the Lotus we've got a Provost uh, we've got the, um, the Octopus HMD the Inwin uh, we have the Zeppelin we have the MIG Razor we've got so many HMDs here okay and I brought out some bowls and different types of coals so we can go over uh, uh, how to use each one of these devices there's so many different ones out on the market, so hard to choose which one works well. And honestly, there are a couple that uh, that I tend to use more than others. And um, before we get started uh, going into all that, I'm gonna show you the most generic and basic HMD on the market, started by Hookah John, the flavor saver. Uh, this thing is like $4.99, I believe. Uh, for a pack of five, I don't know, something like that. These are really cheap, very uh, easy to use, works well, keeps that coal flavor off your smoke. Um, they can get messy because, you know, ash is going to fall. And on top of that, there is a chance of, uh, you know, you can have uh, a cube fall off and roll onto your table if you don't have it properly set on this. So basically, I'm going to start off with the most generic one and then work my way up. Now the, the flavor saver uh, is used with foil on a bowl, okay? So basically um, use, let's say an 80 foot bowl, fo uh, put your uh, uh, tobacco in there, foil it up. You're gonna put your, your flavor saver on top and then use your coals. Generally speaking, I start off with, um, when I use this, I use uh, cubettes. I usually use uh, four cubettes and uh, then drop one down after it gets started. The beauty of, of using a flavor saver is that uh, it's basically, it starts up right away when you start smoking, okay? You, you, there's no wait time waiting for things to heat up. It's almost like putting it right on the foil. Within a minute, you're smoking. So I usually use uh, cubettes, okay, on, uh, on the uh, flavor saver. And right now I've got some superior uh, cocoa uh, cubettes. So uh, basically, the flavor saver, you know, works really well. If you're getting new into HMDs, not a bad way to start. Something simple, easy to use. You're going to get a, a, a quick smoke very fast without the flavor of the coal by having the coal sitting right, right on your uh, foil. So this works really good. You can use it on any bowl you want. Uh, I mean, you can uh, use a larger bowl, anything you want to use, okay? Um, it, this works really, really good. So this is your most generic and easiest uh, HMD you can use. The next HMD, and probably one of the most popular out on the market, okay, uh, is gonna be your Provost. This is the new version of the Provost. The old one looked like that with the three holes. 
Uh, they do the same exact job, just different type of airflow out of the top lid. But uh, otherwise, this uh, this is probably the most popular uh, HMD, the Provost, okay? And this is in the low 20s. Uh, you can find this pretty much everywhere. Um, uh, five Star, uh, um, Hookah John, um, quite a few people sell them. You can find them on eBay. I mean, Amazon has them. Um, one thing about this HMD, again, this one you use on foil, okay? This one does not go on, the, on a bowl directly, okay? You're gonna foil up your bowl, okay? Put your tobacco, foil it on, and you're gonna put it right on top of your foil. Uh, this one I generally use three cubes, okay? And uh, so, as you can, I'm gonna show you this. Here's a cube, and this is a cubette, okay? So I usually use, uh, three cubes, or you can use flat, okay? Works really well, or, or the cube, you can use any coals, but I generally, when I use a Provost, you know, if I'm not smoking Tangiers, I'll use the cubes. If I'm smoking with Tangiers, I want a little bit lower heat, I'll use cubettes, or I'll use the flats, okay? So, um, Provost works really, really good, very easy to manage and use. Um, uh, doesn't make a mess when you're using it, you're changing out your, your um, you just pick it up off your foil, dump out the ash in your coals, put new ones in. Um, this, again, works really, really good and super easy. Just put your coals on, put it on foil, and within a minute or two, again, this, this heats up really fast and you're, you're smoking pretty fast, okay? So uh, the Provost is probably one of the most widely used HMD out, out there, and most, most people in the community do use the Provost. Uh, because it just works well. I mean, you, 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 can't, you can't beat it. You're not gonna really screw anything up while using a, a Provost, okay? Provost works really, really good. And uh, you can use it on any size bowl, okay? You just don't wanna use it on th certain things like a, a Ferris bowl, okay? Which is made for, for uh, a regular HMD that uh, I'll, I'll go into in a minute here. So you got your Provost, okay? Which again is the most popular. Um, some of the other HMDs that I really, really like, okay. Um, now, these are hard to find anymore, but this was the Phoenix, okay. Uh, not being produced anymore. I know some vendors still have it. I think Hookah Shisha uh, still carries these. Uh, this is made with uh, 6061 T1 uh, aerospace grade aluminum. Uh, this HMD um, was an amazing HMD when it first came out on the market. I love it. Uh, I've used it on top of foil. I've used it without foil. This works really, really good. Uh, this will fit easily uh, three or four cubes inside. There's lots of space. And what's really cool about this, it has the funnel in the middle, okay? And there's no cutouts on the bottom, so you're not gonna get any ash uh, going into your, uh, on top of your foil and onto your bowl. Because, you know, some of the other HMBs, they have the holes, the ash fall through, it gets into your bowl. So, um, this, is, this was a really, really great design, and when this first came out, um, I used this on foil, and it worked amazing, or you can just use it right on a ferrous bowl, okay? You put your, your tobacco in here. You would do a slight underpack, okay, on this. You really don't want, with the, uh, this type of HMD, you don't want, want the tobacco to touch the bottom. That's when you get things stuck. It can happen, but uh, you try not to. You put that on here, okay? Put your lid on and let it go. And if it starts smoking hot, if you see smoke coming out of the top, it's too hot. Take some coal out, take take a lid off. And another beauty about the Phoenix was uh, you can heat this up. This this is meant to be put on your burner. You preheat this one before you would use it. So um, the smoke up time is very fast with, with using this HMD because you can put, uh, preheat this. Uh, most you cannot, they'll melt. So um, the Phoenix was a beautiful HMD when it first came out where you could heat it up and uh, lots of airflow, really, really good device. Really, really loved uh, the Phoenix. Um, the, the next most popular HMD, okay, is going to be the, the Lotus, okay? Everybody loves the Lotus. Uh, very popular uh, in the Russian market as well. Uh, most of the folks in Russia smoke with uh, with lotuses, and uh, the lotus okay you'll fit two cubes in here right 
after they're heated up, you'll be able to put two cubes in here. I don't know if it's going to fit now with the, not, the coals not getting burned, but once, yeah, there it goes. So you can fit two coals, okay, in here. And then a lot of times uh, what I do and a lot of people do is you'll put two more cubes after they're heated up and angle them like this, okay? So that's, that's a typical Russian method also of doing uh, using the Lotus. And this, this device works amazing. I really, really like this. When you use this, I, I generally can go one round of coals and I don't need to, uh, to put any more coals. So, I mean, you're saving coals when you use HMDs because they burn a lot longer. Most, most of my HMDs will go an hour and a half with one set of coals, okay? And you're not constantly changing coals. You're not getting the flavor in your mouth uh, uh, of, the, of the coals when you're using them, okay? And there are, something I wanna show you, there are coffees out on the market. This was given to me, okay? This is, this is not a real Lotus. It looks very similar, okay? But don't buy these cheap coffees, folks. I mean, they will work but not as well as the original. First of all, the, the copy, I don't know if you can see, it's got a smaller opening. You cannot fit two coals in here. These, sorry about that. These fake devices, okay, they're not as open, okay? They look very similar, but as you can see, the opening is not nearly as big as the original, okay? So don't buy these fake ones. I mean, spend a little extra money and get yourself the real Lotus. I mean, this one's $54 for the black color, okay? And um, if you, and the, uh, just the uh, aluminum color ones, okay? They are about 49 bucks. Now, let me show you something here with, with this Lotus. When, when you buy a real Lotus, okay, the packaging is gonna be very well known, okay? You're gonna open it up and you're gonna, it's gonna have the logo paper in here. And, and when you open this up, okay, this has, the identification number that you have a real product, not a copy uh, from China somewhere, okay? So when you buy one of these, make sure you're getting the real one, okay? Uh, and the fake, here's, let me show you the difference here. This is a real one now compared to the fake one. I wanna show you. Okay. All right, so real, fake, all right? And, it, and when I flip them over and you can see the lid size, is is different so you can see that the opening is not nearly as big okay on the fake one like I said you cannot fit two coals in here uh, you're gonna have to burn them down to use it it does not work good stay away from the copies I, I highly recommend you buy and support the manufacturers that went out of their way to make these things not people copying them okay um, when you support copies you, you you're not doing yourself or the community a favor okay so Buy real stuff, folks. I know it can be expensive, but if you're, if you're gonna enjoy the hobby, enjoy it correctly and buy the originals. Don't buy copies of anything, okay? So um, the Lotus, again, this is a great HMD. So uh, you can use this on many types of bowls. You can use this on a Ferris bowl, okay? Um, you can use this on an, on, an, on an eggy bowl, okay? Just make sure that, you know, because there's not no lip holding it, okay? Just make sure it's centerized and it's gonna stay, all right? So this works really, really good. Um, now, if you wanna try and use it on an 80 foot bowl, no go, okay? You don't wanna do that, all right? You wanna, you see the slits on the bottom? You wanna make sure those airflow vents are going into your bowl, so your bowl is getting airflow. So you wanna make sure it fits on a bowl, okay? Like this, all right, where the slits on the bottom are over your tobacco, so you're making sure you're getting airflow. Now with a Lotus, you do not preheat these. These will melt, okay? So do not, I know some people have preheated them, put it on for a minute, you could probably get away with it, but you don't wanna do that. You, you'll probably damage your Lotus, and it's not worth it. These heat up pretty quickly, all right? So, um, you know, don't preheat a Lotus. Uh, you can get away with just using three cubes to get it started. I wouldn't go with two, use at least three. I use four. And if it gets too hot, pull a cube down and you'll be fine. Now when packing a bowl with a Lotus, okay, you see it's got these little nubs. Um, you can go either way. You can have it to where the nubs are just touching your tobacco or under packing it. Um, when I use an eggy bowl here, okay, when I, when I pack uh, like element tobacco, I under pack and nothing touches the bottom. So easy to clean up by doing it that way. 
and uh, you're not gonna have anything stuck to the bottom. So I always underpack my bowl when I'm using an eggy, put it on here, and uh, you're good to go. And when you're using things uh, like a Ferris bowl and stuff, there's not a lot of room in here. So if you do do an underpack, you know, you're gonna have a shorter smoke because you're not using as much tobacco. But again, you're not gonna have to deal with a heavy cleanup if you, um, if you underpack it. But if you do pack it where it's touching the HMD, just to the nubs, okay? You don't wanna go more than that because you're really gonna have a hard time cleaning up your HMD when you're done. So, you know, my go-to's are the Provost and the Lotus 99.9% .9 of the time, and then I, I also do use a Flavor Saver a lot. That's a great HMD. All right, um, let's talk about some of the newer newer uh, ones that came out. Zeppelin, another great HMD. Now, the beauty of this thing is you can fit you know, your coals in here so easy. There's so much room, um, and this thing gets really, really hot. One round of coals, and you'll be good for a whole session. The only thing with this HMD is you do not want, as you can see, I do have some uh, tobacco staining, okay? You do not want the, coal, the tobacco to touch the bottom of this HMD. It's not meant for that, okay? So if you're using the Ferris bowl, okay, just make sure that when you pack it, you're, you're not touching the bottom of this because this is extremely hard to clean up, all right? And you will scratch the hell out of this, okay, because uh, of the coating on it. So make sure you underpack when you use this. I mean, you can use this on pretty much any bowl, okay? It will work here too, on the Harmony Bowl, okay? So the Hookah John Harmony Bowl will work great, okay? Don't try packing it on an eggy bowl. It's, it's, you can, but I, I wouldn't use it on an eggy bowl. And um, the 80 foot bowl, that's not gonna work again because uh, it's just not, you don't have the openings there. So great HMD, love this. Got these from Peter Smoke USA. Love this, it's a, like I said, it's a great, great HMD. It's got a nice handle. It will get hot even with the rubber on here, so please be careful when using this. But uh, when you use this HMD, uh, three coals and you're gonna be good to go. Uh, and again, with any HMD, when you're getting used to doing it, is, is watching your heat management. If you get it too hot, you will destroy your tobacco. If it starts burning, you pretty much, you know, wrecked your bowl if it gets overheated. So as soon as you see any kind of smoke coming out of the top of these HMDs, uh, take a coal off, it's getting too hot. You don't wanna destroy your, your smoking session. Um, the next HMD I wanna go over, this is the, the Matt Pear, uh, 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 Coloca, if I'm saying that correctly. Now this one I got has the Teflon coating, and this one's meant where you can actually touch your tobacco at all times, because nothing's gonna stick, it's gonna slide off. There are a lot of, People that don't want to use Teflon, I don't have a problem. I'm not worried about it. They do make a version without the Teflon. But I love this HMD because nothing sticks. It just slides right off. Uh, it takes two seconds with a paper towel and it's wiped right off. Um, like this one doesn't have a very big opening. You can fit two coals in here though once they're lit. And then I usually put, um, uh, same like with the Lotus, two in the middle and one on the side. Three coals pops with this and it works really good. One thing that I like to do when I'm using uh, an HMD is, you know, they take some time to get heated up, right? So to speed things up, if you've got a wind cover, okay, any wind cover will work, okay? You just um, put it on, put your wind cover on, okay, and leave it there. And within, within three minutes, this thing is, is fired up. And once it gets going, you can take your wind cover off because then you don't want to get too hot and again, scorch your tobacco because you're not gonna have a good smoke if you scorch your tobacco. So I use a wind cover a lot when I'm uh, using HMDs uh, just to speed up the heat up process. If you're not in a rush, you want to wait four to five minutes and that's fine, you don't have to use a wind cover. But uh, it generally takes some time to heat up uh, your bowl when you're using, um, when you're using uh, uh, the HMD without a wind cover, okay? Uh, another cool one is the uh, the MIG Razor. Very, very good, okay? Uh, another one that I would not preheat, you probably can heat it up a little bit, but don't do it. It's got lots of airflow here. The MIG Razor from Germany, made by MIG, okay? Works extremely well. And again, there's lots of room in here to fit three coals, okay? Lit up, no problem at all, we'll fit three coals. Um, this is a, a, a wonderful HMD, uh, again, you, you, you can clean these up pretty good if you get some tobacco on the bottom of it. 
Uh, again, these have a little nub on the bottom. Maximum, you want to just barely touch these. You don't want to go more than that, okay, when you're packing and using your bowl. This will, again, it will fit on uh, your Harmony bowl, your Ferris bowl, okay, and uh, let's see. Uh, again, it's not going to fit on an 80-foot bowl. Uh, I've got some other ones here. Let's see. We got here, this is the, uh, the Flame Smoke HMD. This is pretty cool. This will fit three coals as well. Lots of airflow, okay? Uh, aerospace grade aluminum, very, very heavy, good quality. Uh, uh, lots and lots of airflow. You got lots of holes all the way around, 360 degrees. You got the top side, big holes, and then you have the big airflow on the top. Uh, this one works really, really good. Uh, don't preheat this. Again, as you can see, I got some staining, hard to get off, but um, you know, with something like this, just barely touching the bottom or not at all, or an underpack works really good for easy cleanup. Okay, so this is the flame smoke, works really, really good. Here is the, uh, the, uh, the Lotus 2. Very, very beautiful design. Uh, this one, okay, they actually have specially designed coals you can get for this, but I never buy them. Just, they're a lot of money for those coals. They, they're shaped to fit in here. But uh, again, I just use, uh, uh, the, I use uh, two cubes in here, and that's all you're gonna fit is two in here, okay? You put two cubes in here, put your lid on, okay? And uh, take your handle off. Do not leave this on once, once you start using this, okay? The, the, the handle is easy to take off the lid when you wanna change out your coals, all right? And again, uh, aerospace grade aluminum. The bottom here, as you can see, now, with this one, again, you just want to barely touch the bottom with your tobacco, as with all your HMDs, or, or uh, leave a slight underpack, okay? This fit, fits very good on your uh, Ferris bowl. It will work fine on a Harmony bowl, okay? So, fits there. Uh, you can use it on an Eggy bowl, no problem here. It fits, okay? If you want to use an Eggy bowl, it works really, really good. Um, I, like I said, I just suggest that you all uh, do either a slight underpack or just barely touching the bottom, okay, uh, when you're packing. Um, I have some others here. This came um, with my Dark Matter. I've actually never used it. Um, it's, it's okay. Uh, it was a free gift. Something cool about this, it's got adjustable little legs here to fit your bowl. So when you're putting it on here, you can take it and you can move your little legs around. So it, it, it touches the side to hold it in place, okay? It's got a little sliding lid, all right? Not a big fan, okay? It came with it, don't use it. Uh, another one that I really don't use much um, is the octopus here, okay? This, um, I've never even used this one. I bought this during Expo last year, and uh, good, looking, good looking HMD, okay? And, um, uh, this, I guess they call it the stork, okay? Uh, this one works good if you find a bowl that it fits. The problem is that these little legs here, okay, they're not adjustable. So you gotta, like, the harmony will fit and hold fine, okay? There's some of my bowls, it, it just doesn't fit right. So, you not to be able to put it on a ferris, okay? It doesn't work. Um, you, can, you can use it on this eggy bowl, it will work. But there's certain bowls this will not work on, okay? So, um... This one, I, you know, like I said, I've never used it. Good looking HMD, just I've got so many uh, that I've never even used it. Um, this one, I, uh, the, uh, the In Heath by Inwind Designs, okay, this one works really good. It's aerospace grade aluminum, uh, made uh, in uh, Michigan by actually a bunch of designers who used to work for uh, Ford. They engineered this. Um, it's really nice. It's got the holes in the middle for the for the airflow. The bottom has nothing on the bottom. It's completely flat. Uh, as you can see, I do have some staining where the tobacco did touch. Um, a little hard to clean off, so you you want to do a slight under pack with this. This fits really good. Okay, it's got the nice handle. Okay, again, anything with the rubber on the end of the handle will get hot, even with the rubber there. So please be careful when picking things up. Okay but it does help quite a bit when you have a handle. The one thing about the Inwin, okay, this takes a very long time to heat up. Um, it, it's taken me six minutes to get this thing smoking. 
uh, if you use the the wind cover, you'll you'll cut that in half, okay? But generally, if you don't use a wind cover, this takes a very very long time to heat up. But there's a lot of space. You can easily fit uh, three cubes in here, not a problem with the inwind. And this is a very very uh, inex inexpensive HMD. If you go to inwind uh, designs uh, online, I think these are like 20 bucks. Okay, very very reasonably priced good looking and it works we'll get the job done uh, do not heat this up this is not meant for a preheat do not it will melt all right and uh, probably the worst HMD I've ever purchased on the market okay is the Starbuzz NAR I do not like this I think it's all gimmick uh, you're supposed to have a little thermometer there to see the gauge um, it takes forever to heat up I it, you know the this blacked out after one use, so it's very, very hard to uh, to see the temperature. Anyways, it's got these little handles that once you put this on, you're supposed to take off the handles. You do not smoke with these handles on. These have to come off, okay? So you gotta sit here and unscrew them, and then when you want to take it off again or take off the lid. You gotta screw these back in. Uh, I never got very good uh, heat management out of this, not a fan. Some people like them. If you like it, then use it. Uh, I'm not a fan of the Starbucks product. It, uh, you know, will fit again on your Ferris. Okay, it's a very, very big HMD, very heavy, very chunky. Um, you, can, you can barely fit two cubes in here because you got the probe in here that takes up a lot of space, okay? And then there's not much room in here. It's just very chunky. You can't really fit two cubes in here. You gotta let the cubes burn down a bit to use it. I just never, never like the Starbuzz NAR. It's not a, it's not a good HMD. I do not recommend this at all, you know? So, um, take a pull of my hookah, see if it's still going. All right. Um, so again, you know, with your HMDs, um, the biggest thing when using them is, is your heat management, okay? Start off with a, a higher heat just to get it smoking, and then once you get it smoking, if it's getting hot, pull a cube off or a, a flat, whatever you're using, okay? And if you see smoke coming out of the top of the HMD while you're using it, you're probably burning your tobacco, so um, make sure that uh, you don't scorch your smoke or you're not going to have a good smoke. Um, let me see if there's any, uh, I'm sorry I haven't been looking at any of the questions, Bob. The Teflon version is no longer being produced due to the health warnings of Teflon. Yeah, I heard that, uh, Daniel. I'm not worried about it. Uh, uh, you know, if you also do the research on Teflon, you have to hit a certain temperature before it becomes toxic, and I don't believe I'm hitting that level at all. So uh, that's why I don't have a problem. I have a, a brand new one sitting in my closet, so I bought two of them. Um, Dan, that's an industrial wind cover. Yeah, Matthew, it's a uh, stainless steel, uh, made in Russia. And uh, let's see, do you find that the Lotus 2 isn't as hot as the rest of the HMDs? Um, no, it, it gets, it takes a little bit while, uh, longer to get to get this heated up. But if I if I start off with the um, uh, with uh, the wind cover. And then once it gets going, I put this lid on. It, it's it's working really good. I don't have an issue with that at all. How would you recommend cleaning the Phoenix? Uh, what I do with with any of my HMDs is once I'm done, okay, smoking, I don't let this. I don't let the the, the, the tobacco dry. I mean, I take it off. Anything that's stuck, I I take it off right away. And I use the back end of, of my tongs to scrape off whatever thing is stuck on there. And then I use a coal. Uh, I wet a coal and scrub. That's it. Take it off. I do that with the bottom of my Lotus. It works really good. Um, you just, you know, take, you take your, your uh, coal, wet it, and, and just scrub down really nice. And, um, and it gets off pretty much everything. You know, if you, um, uh, I wouldn't soak HMDs would probably discolor it. Uh, I, I've never soaked anything overnight, but I don't let things sit overnight with tobacco on the bottom. If you let this cool down with, with the tobacco stuck on the bottom, you're going to have a hell of a time cleaning it up the next day. So take the time to uh, clean it up as soon as you're done with your session, you know, uh, and, and you'll have a lot easier time uh, cleaning these things up when you're done. I mean, 
it, it depends, you know, if you care if you want extra work the next day. I mean, you can get it off. It's just going to take you that much longer. Um, let me see some of the other questions. Uh, I didn't buy it for that reason because I smoke very high heat and I'm pretty positive I'm getting close to above. Uh, let me see. I'm getting above. Open up more. That temperature. Yeah, I can't remember what that a temperature is, Daniel. Um, but, um, you know, I usually use the three cubes to get it started and then I take one off and I put the lid on it. So I don't think I'm getting uh, above the temperature to worry about that. Is a wing cover absolutely required for a warm up? Well, you get the, you'll get, Hank, you will get the same results if you have patience. You don't need a wing cover at all. Uh, these will start going, you know, after a few minutes, you sit here and pull, you'll start getting whiffs of smoke. Uh, and probably within four to five minutes, it will probably be smoking very, very good without a wing cover. But with the wing cover, you're going to cut your time in half. Absolutely. It's going to heat up quite a bit faster with a wing cover, you know. But, uh, you know, just remember when using HMDs, you just want to do, a, I honestly believe in slight underpacks because you're just saving yourself a lot of headaches and, and tobacco burning, okay? If you if you have your, your bowl packed really well, and this is basically sitting on your tobacco, one, you're gonna burn, you're gonna scorch the top layer of your tobacco very fast, and you're gonna get a very bitter, bitter, smoky flavor, you know, once you, once you start smoking. So I would not uh, do that. Do a slight underpack, uh, and you're gonna be good every time. Again, HMDs take patience. Remember, it's not putting coals on foil where you get instant gratitude and a thing's smoking right away. If you wanna get something that smokes really fast, Flavor Saver works really good. Like I said, just be careful when you're putting your coals on. You don't want them on the, leaning off the edge. If you put if you put one of your coals like this, okay, it as it burns, it's gonna fall off, and you're gonna burn your countertop or whatever you're doing. So just make sure you you have them on top of the whole Flavor Saver when you put them on. Now again, the Provost, you know, it this is again probably everybody's favorite HMD because it's just easy and it works. Uh, you can adjust the lid on this, you know, for, for airflow. You can, you, they have the cutouts here, okay? So you can, you can prop up your lid, have it like that. You can go like that. You can put it completely on. You can open and close the vents. I mean, this works really good. But again, you, you have to use foil. So uh, you're not going to use this without foil, okay? Unless uh, you use the apple on top. And I never use the apple on top, so I've never used that. So, um, but if you just... You're not using an apple on top, just you're gonna put it on foil on any of your bowls and it's gonna smoke amazing. Um, everybody loves the Provost, I mean I do. Um, if I'm not using a Provost, I'm more than likely using the Lotus. And uh, the Lotus is amazing. Like I said, I'll get one round, I'll use one round of coals the whole time. Uh, man, we need to smoke together one time. Sounds like we do things very different. I'd love to compare and go into, oh, Daniel, sorry, can't see whatever you said. Yeah, I'd love to, Daniel. Um, maybe we'll see you in St. Petersburg if you're gonna get a chance to go, that would be awesome. Uh, let's see, got anything else here? Haha, ha, the NAR, the, the name suits it perfectly. NAR means fool, idiot in Danish. <laughs> I didn't know that. Live and learn, something new every day. Let's see, we got any other questions? <laughs> but, you know, I, I've got so many HMDs. Um, uh, I used to use this regularly, the MIG, Razor, uh, and uh, I don't use it that much anymore. But like I said, I've got so many. Uh, but I've been smoking a lot of Element, and I always, always, uh, when I smoke Element, I uh, use uh, the Lotus One uh, when I smoke Element with an underpack. It works absolutely amazing. Don't be afraid of HMDs, guys and gals. Uh, I mean, they work really good. First, make sure you master the use of, of, of heat management on foil before you get to an HMD. If you're not doing a good job with heat management on foil, you're not ready to use an HMD. Just make sure that you know you know how to use your heat management on foil, that if things are getting hot, pull the cube off. Uh, you know, once you've mastered the foil, go to an HMD. And uh, if you don't have a lot of money to spend, start with this. Again, you're gonna keep the, the flavor of the coal out of your smoke by using an HMD. That's the beauty of the HMD. 
you keep the flavor of the charcoal out of your smoke and on top of that you're going to get a, a longer session without having to change as many coals because when you're smoking on foil you're going to be changing a lot more your coals and going through a lot more coals uh, what do you mean by underpack? So, uh, when I mean by underpack, okay, let's go with an eggy bowl, okay? If I was going to underpack this, I would make sure that the bowl, the, the tobacco is not all the way to the lip of the bowl, okay? You want to keep it, keep it down under, under underneath the uh, lip, okay? So an underpack means you don't want to go to the top of the bowl, okay? Keep it down low. Same with a Ferris bowl. You see, this is the top area. Okay, this is the lip area where your HMV sits on right here, okay? So, you do not want to have the tobacco go all the way up to that lip area, okay? Keep it below that area so the, so the tobacco is not touching the bottom of your HMV. So, underpacking means you're keeping the tobacco lower than the top of your bowl, okay? Uh, maybe by that much, okay? You're, you're underpacking it so it's not full, okay? And when you're not having it full, it's not touching your HMD and, and it's not going to scorch your tobacco and you're not going to get have a, a hell of a cleanup when you're all done. Uh, Hank says, we're noobs. However, we get great flavor in clouds with the Lotus One, Samaras, uh, and Underpack. Yeah, this, you know, I've never, I don't have that bowl, the Samaras bowl. Um, and uh, yeah, the, I mean, the Lotus One, uh, it was I guess meant for that bowl that they that they sell. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the glass bowl insert for that bowl, so I've never I've never purchased that. But if you if it hey if it's working for you, that's all that matters. I mean, whatever works for you. I mean, people who used to come on me and like, how are you using the Phoenix on foil? The, it's like it's not meant for that. I said, oh, it works, and I did. I've done live reviews on how well this thing smokes on foil. Okay. Uh, and there was no cleanup by putting it on foil, okay? It just, it works really good on foil. Uh, you can use it without, but uh, you know, it worked well for me. So again, when you guys do something, if it works well for you, just do it. I mean, if you're not, if you're not having an issue, that's fine. Uh, if you're not burning your tobacco, whatever you're doing, then you're doing it right, okay? Because if it works for you, that's all that matters. Uh, Hank says it's our beach setup with a Viro. Yeah, I love the Viro. Great little pipe. Awesome. But uh, yeah, I mean, HMDs, you know, they've, they've made um, our life better, I believe, because you get longer smoke. Uh, you don't have to foil and waste the time with using foil. Uh, you have a little more cleanup with, with an HMD. But honestly, when I use one, I usually go one, one round of coals when I use an HMD. Uh, you know, and then, then you're good. If my tobacco is scorched, am I using too much coal? Uh, Levi, if, you're, if your tobacco is scorched, are you saying when you're all done that it looks scorched? Because your tobacco, when you're done smoking with an HMD, you basically, what we, ha we, we call a donut will come out. When you're done smoking, you can actually pull out a whole donut of cooked tobacco, and that means it's it's done its job. It's done a very you've had a very good smoke. Uh, scorching, I mean, if you put on your HMD right away and it starts burning, you're getting a lot of smoke. You're you're scorching the top of your tobacco. You want to heat up your tobacco slowly because if you heat it up too fast, you're going to burn your tobacco and you're going to get a bad flavor in your mouth, and that's basically scorching it. Okay, now if you put on uh, three or four coals and it's happening to you right away. Just take a coal off uh, and, it will, and it will cool down, okay? And you should be fine. Now, if you've overpacked your bowl, you're probably gonna, you're really gonna burn, burn your tobacco. If you've overpacked it, you're probably not gonna have, it's gonna smoke, but it's not gonna, you're not gonna get the flavor. You're gonna get a burnt flavor in there. So, um, so it, it, do not overpack your bowl or that's gonna be the problem, uh, is that's gonna definitely scorch your, your tobacco. So definitely make sure that you do it under pack. But, when, if, you, if you've done everything right, when you're all done smoking, you're all going to have a donut that's going to just pop right out <laughs> with a pair of tongs or, or, or uh, a poker. You'll just pop out and you'll have like a donut. You've probably seen lots of pictures of, uh, of donuts. That means it's just cooked the tobacco perfectly evenly all the way around. When, 
If you're done and only the top portion of your tobacco is cooked and the bottom is raw still, it, you probably didn't get enough heat in there when you were smoking. Here's another new question. Should you wait for your bowl to cool completely before cleaning it? Okay. The recommendation is to let your bowl cool down before cleaning it because you might get micro fractures in the bottom. It's not going to hurt your bowl. It's just, have you ever seen little beads of liquid on the bot on the bottom of your bowl those are just little micro fractures because you've put cold water on a hot bowl and that will happen it's not going to hurt anything it just it just can happen uh i don't generally do that i'm going to be honest i you know when i'm done with the bowl i go right under the water i don't I, i've only had maybe three bowls i've had some micro fractures where i've had some uh beads uh, of liquid you'll see coming out of the bottom but most of the time I take them, scrape out the tobacco, and then I run it, run it under warm water, not cold water, warm water. Uh, and um, I don't want to put cold water and shock the bowl. But um, yeah, I usually wash it right away. It's a lot easier to clean up. And when you're cleaning up a bowl, the easiest method that i found is once you scrape everything out and you rinse it with water, uh, I have, a, I have a scouring sponge. And then after that, whatever is left inside there, I, again, I take a cold, Okay, wet it and just go round and round and round. It's going to take everything off the sides, inside. 90% uh, of everything is going to come off. Uh, now, if you let this cool overnight and you come back the next day, it's definitely going to be a lot harder to clean, even with a cold. You'll get stuff off, but it's going to be a lot harder. So generally speaking, clean your equipment up after each smoke and you're going to be uh, in a lot better shape uh, than if you let it cool or sit overnight to the next day. Uh, Hank wants to know if I tried the stimulation HMD yet. No, I have not gotten it yet. It's uh, it's supposed to be here today or tomorrow. And uh, once I do get that, I will actually do a live review of the stimulation HMD. So looking forward to that. So uh, that has not come yet. Uh, would you use an eggy bowl for blonde leaf? Absolutely. I mean, the eggy bowl was basically made, I mean, for back in, you know, this was the bowl everybody used. Before there was a funnel, this is what everybody used, right? Funnels are relatively new if you, if you think about it. Eggies have been the, the go-to bowl for forever. And uh, everybody smokes blonde leaf. Al Fokker, uh, you can use this for, for dark leaf, you can use it for blonde leaf, it will work fine, okay? And um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't use this for tangiers. This is not a bowl I would use for tangiers. You wanna use a funnel bowl for tangiers, okay? Because you wanna firm pack tangiers okay and um, with this if you firm pack anything in here um, you're going to uh, you're going to block up your airflow and it's going to be a tight draw so um, you know what I when I use an eggy bowl and what, whatever tobacco I'm using not you know you I, I mean I fluff pack tangiers before okay and it worked and it, you get a very very high nicotine hit and it will smoke well uh, you'll get a lot of flavor, but you're going to burn out your tobacco quite a bit faster if you smoke tangiers that way. Um, so, you know, this is, an eggy bowl is excellent for, for blondes. It's primarily was made for blondes because that's all there was before the dark leaf came out and everybody used eggies. So yes, absolutely use, use, uh, uh, use an eggy bowl. I love that call idea. Thank you. Sure, Hank. Yeah, it works really good. Give it a try. Let's see what other questions we got. All right. Again, remember if you're gonna if you're going to spend the money uh, on on a um, HMD, go ahead and support the manufacturers that made the actual product. Don't go out and buy the cheap copies. The cheap copies will work, uh, but they're not going to be nearly as good as the original. Like I've showed you the difference between the different um, the lotuses with a fake one. The opening's not as big. You can't. You can't fit two coals in there like you can with a uh, with a regular Lotus one. So uh, support you know manufacturers by buying the original product. Spend the extra money, save your money if you don't have it, and get the get get the actual product. You know don't support people that copy this stuff. I mean I know people want to save money. Not everybody has a lot of money, but if you're in this hobby because you love it, then love it to to the full extent by buying products that's gonna last. And by supporting the the, the the manufacturers that that made these to begin with, there's so many.
people copying product out there, and I am not a fan of that. And and most people will tell you, you know, not to buy the, the cheap copies. A, a, a lot of a lot of times, people will say, well, it works just as good as the original. Well, I don't really know what what materials are used in the fake copies. You know, honestly, I trust the manufacturer has done the research and they're using the right materials to make sure I'm I'm not getting poisoned whatever materials put in there. So you don't know what what the fake copy is made out of. What kind of chemicals are in there? What kind of toxins you may get by smoking out of an HMD that you don't know where it was made or how it was manufactured. So like I said, save your time and your money and buy from uh, buy the original product. Don't buy the cheap copies, all right? Uh, again, my favorite favorite uses are the Provost, the Lotus, of course. Love the Zeppelin. The MIG Razor, also amazing. The Matte Pair, amazing. The Phoenix, amazing. And, of course, the Lotus, Lotus 2. Oh, here's something I didn't show you guys, real quick. This is a uh, from Octopus in Germany. I forgot to show you this. This is a one coal HMD. Really, really cool. Um, this will actually fit on an 80 foot bowl perfectly. Okay, and this little thing works. One coal in here. Okay, one coal. One coal. And this thing works like a champ. Got lots of airflow. Put one coal in here. Okay, put your lid on. And you're good to go one coal and uh, so you know this is a really cool little HMD got this from octopus when I got my octopus hookah and uh, yeah I'm sorry I forgot to show you this one but uh, it's a one coal HMD it works really really good I've seen them online I see uh, you know you can get them from octopus directly some manufacturers are carrying these um, I can't tell you which ones but they're out there it's the one coal HMD from octopus this works really good. Uh, stay away from the Starbuzz NARS, my huge recommendation. Junk, junk, junk. Uh, and uh, you'll be good to go. Any more questions before we wrap up uh, HMD school? I hope I've helped everybody, um, you know, with the use of HMDs. Uh, I just wanted to, you know, tell everybody, you know, what is the proper use. A lot of people are, you know, especially the newbies, they're scared to use one because they're not sure. But again, um, most HMDs are going to take two to three coals. And uh, if it starts getting hot, take a coal off and uh, you should be good to go. If it starts smoking, don't wait. Take a coal off, take the lid off, let it start cooling down because you don't want to scorch your tobacco and give yourself a bad smoke. All right, folks. Well, listen, I hope you in, uh, enjoyed uh, this uh, review of HMDs and their proper usage. And I appreciate you coming and watching Smoking with Bob. If you, anybody has a question, don't hesitate to shoot me a PM. I'll be more than glad to help you through it, even if I have to do a video uh, live with you to make sure you're doing things correctly if you're having an issue. Uh, just remember, slide under packs or just pack it so it's just barely touching the bottom of your HMD and you're gonna be good to go and uh, be an easy cleanup. Everybody, thanks for joining. Have a great day, stay safe out there and uh, we'll see you on my next live review. You take care, bye now.